Officials in Quebec and Ontario have been warning hospitals are nearing a critical point. Our health care system is at risk here. Now they're preparing for the worst, with tools ready to help medical staff make unthinkable decisions around who should get critical care if ICU capacity runs out. Even reading the protocol turns my stomach. I mean, I understand it. it. It's based on saving the most number of people, based on their overall likelihood of surviving. So the spirit of it is good, but I've never had to make decisions like this. It hasn't come to that yet, but critical care staff in both provinces have been told to prepare. It is contrary to everything that any physician uh, I imagine has ever been taught. The Quebec protocol involves a three-person team in each hospital. You get a score that reflects your chance of survival. And the ethical principle behind it is, of course, to maximize the benefits, to save the most lives. And so the patient with the best chance of survival will be prioritized. But it all brings up so many ethical questions. You can't decide who lives and dies by a memo from the government. David Lepofsky is an advocate for people with disabilities. He spoke out against an earlier version in Ontario from the first wave that was later rescinded. He's still worried this kind of triage could lead to discrimination. It's wrapped up in a bunch of medical language, but it still risks serious discrimination against some patients with disabilities. Quebec changed its protocol after similar complaints. Ontario's says the approach aims to prevent bias, while doctors in both provinces say they hope the situation they're preparing for never happens. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.